What is up guys, Equarist here, and in this video we're going to be doing an aquarium fish tier list. So to start things off, we have the angelfish, and the angelfish are pretty common fish that you see, and you'd find them at most pet stores and all that stuff. And there's not really like a wow factor to them because, you know, we've just seen them so much. So they're definitely going to be an A tier because they still look pretty good, but, you know, they don't really have that like wow factor. So the next fish is the Asian arowana. And, you know, this is definitely a god tier because, you know, people have died for this fish and people have paid fines for this fish. And there's just so much like crazy stuff that goes on with Asian arowana, so that's definitely a god tier. Cherry barbs, only the males look really that good, so that's definitely gonna be a C class, because if the females look good, I feel like this fish would be a lot more popular, but definite C class fish. Um, peacock bass, uh, you do really need a big tank for them, I think they get about two feet, but they do look really nice, but since they grow so big, it's definitely gonna be like C class. Um, next fish is the beta god tier, nothing needs to be said about that. You can find them in so many different colors and designs and all that stuff, so definite, definite perfect fish for god tier. Next fish is the Corydoras, probably A tier because you won't really find that much variety like that's like available to you, so that's definitely going to be uh, A tier fish. Daniels. I can get flushed for all I care. <laughs> I don't really like Daniels anyways. Discus, definitely god tier. They, they, they're they like angelfish, but with the wow factor. And even though they're not as accessible, they just have that like, I mean, they're the king of aquariums for a reason. So they have that wow factor. Flower horns, I'd put it, just cause they look so nice and they're pretty much like a creation of man. Um, I'd, I'd probably give it god tier because they just look so nice and I I want to have one that looks really good at some point in the future. Uh, fire eel, I think I'd give the fire eel like C class because they kind of hide and they don't really look, you don't really see that like red stuff that much. It's kind of like muted. Um, I'd say the elephant nose fish would be probably B tier. I have seen this fish and I do like their sh the shape of their body. And because they're so unusual, I'd give it a B tier. Um, let's see, Frontosa. Frontosa are definitely, definitely a staple in the African cichlid hobby. And they're like, they're like kind of like the clownfish of the African cichlid hobby. Like if when you think African cichlid, you think Frontosa, so that's definitely A class. Geophagus, eh, you can't. I don't. I wish you could keep them in planet tanks, cause then I'd give them like A class or something like that. But for that reason, since they kind of kick up plants and all that stuff, they're gonna get B class. Uh, goldfish, I don't really care about goldfish that much, so C class for them. Dwarf gouramis. I would put this in A class, but it's gonna be at the B class. It's gonna be in B class because like half of them die or something like that because of some disease or something like that for dwarf gouramis, so that's gonna be a B class fish. Pearl gouramis, they never look as good as this picture, so it's gonna be C class. Guppies, I'd give guppies like A class because you can find, they're like easy to breed and you can like make your own variants and all that stuff, so it's a pretty cool fish. Killifish, C class. Don't they're really tiny, and you know, I don't really. They're kind of irrelevant. Knife fish, you won't really see them. C class. Koi, definite S class. People have paid like hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars for those, and like I have to be rich to afford to afford the good ones. So definite god tier. Clown loaches, I would, I would give them the god tier because they're just such a cool fish. But since they're, they're kind of easy to kill with ick and stuff like that, and I've had a, a lot of problems with uh, clown loaches surviving because they're too frail. So 
I'm just gonna give them A class. Uh, Molly's, Guppies, Molly's Platties, all those things. I'd probably give them like a, they're pretty much the same thing, so I'd probably give them B class. Cause, you know, they're kinda cookie cutter at this point. Like if, if this is like the first time I've ever seen a Molly, then I'd probably put them like an A class. But since there's just so many of them, and like, you know, they're pretty much a cookie cutter fish. So I'll just give them B class. Oscar, definite A class. They're beautiful. So like Oscars are one of like best looking fish on, or best looking South American cichlid um, to say. So, and they're easy to find. So yeah, definitely A class fish. African cichlids, I guess these are peacock cichlids. Peacock cichlids, definite God tier. They're like, I mean, I'm pretty sure like these fish used to be saltwater and then they like turned into freshwater fish over time, over like evolution and stuff like that. So you get crazy colors with peacock cichlids. Plecos, I assume these are talking about like designer plecos. So that's definitely a God tier fish. Designer plecos are awesome and they're amazing. So I just had to give them that. Puffer fish, you know, you can't really keep them. They are a really cool fish. Like, I'm definitely gonna keep one. But, you know, they kinda, I don't know. I wouldn't really put them that high up, to be honest. So I'll just give them B tier. Mm. German Blue Rams, A tier. Love these fish. They are a little aggressive though, but yeah, I still love these. These fish are like beautiful. Um, pork Chop Rasboras, or Harlequin Rasboras. I'd give this probably a C. They're kind of, they're smaller than I thought, you know? Like I thought they'd be a little bit bigger, but yeah, definitely C tier. Um, stingrays, God tier. I love stingrays and I wish I could keep one right now, but you know, obviously I don't have the facilities or the money for that. So maybe in the future, um, let's see, let's see. Red-tailed catfish. They are beautiful fish, but they grow too big. And maybe if they're smaller, I'd put them higher, but yeah, I'm not feeling them. Severums, I think they'd be a C. Eh, they have a really good personality. Let me give them a higher tier. Like you can, these fish will basically be your friend, you know, if you like train them and they'll like eat out of your hands. So I'll give them, I'll give them B tier. Bala sharks, I've never actually kept one and I'm not really planning on it and they grow too big. So probably C tier. Tiger shovel nose cat. Um, I don't even know why these are in the aquarium hobby. They, they grow like, what? I think like two, three feet or something like that. These things are gigantic. Um, but they are, they have pretty cool, like they have a pretty cool design. I'd just give them a C tier, to be honest. Neon Tetra, A tier. I love Neon Tetras. I do like Cardinal Tetras better, but you know, I can't ever find any here. So I'll just have to give Neon Tetras that. But for the record, I would choose Cardinal Tetras over Neon Tetras if I could find them. But you know, I just have to deal with the Neons. Trophius. Trophius are a beautiful fish, but they are very hard to find and they're pretty expensive. So in terms of keeping them for how hard they are and how much it's worth it, I'd just give it a B. Um, Waru, I know the king of DIY loves these, but you know, I don't really see the appeal for these fish. I would, I'd keep the panda ones. The panda ones are really cool, but the regular one, I'm gonna have to give it C tier. Not that great. I don't hate it, but I don't love it, you know? So I'm just leaving it at that. And lastly is Vieja, Vieja, not Vieja, Vieja Argentina. And this is a very beautiful fish, but it's just too big. And I don't, I wouldn't, like if I had to choose a tank uh, for a fish and I had one tank left, I don't think I'd pick this fish, but if I had multiple tanks, I'd definitely keep it. So I'd just say that's a B-class fish. 
And yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, that's my tier list of fish. Obviously, I picked the most popular fish in the god tier. And I think this is kind of based on popularity a little bit. But, you know, they're popular for a reason. And they look beautiful because, I mean, they're popular because they look beautiful. And they're such a high ranking fish. So, yeah, that's my tier list. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any ones that I missed or anything that should be lower or should be higher. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a bit.